Lost in Translation. Um, I think, as, as most of you will know, I was inspired by the title by um, Sofia Coppola's famous movie, Lost in Translation. And it just came to me when I thought about the status of our discipline at the moment. Um, I think that our discipline um, seems to be lost in several forms of transformations and translations with open-ended outcomes. Um, on the first glance, PR, PR sure appears to be a vibrant, um, progressive field of research with um, new people entering the field all the time, with new university chairs, with loads of publications and publication outlets. Um, however, the field obviously lacks what code name core knowledge. Um, it has a booming frontier with race and diverse disciplines, starting from the economics towards the whole range of the social sciences towards the humanities. Um, but hardly anything of this activity really enters a disciplinary core. Um, so the field is very interdisciplinary. Um, it's multi-paradigmatic and it's very fragmented. Um, the status quo can be both considered positively and negatively. But as um, former researchers mostly focused on the positive side of the status, I deliberately wanted to take a different stand with the paper and focus on the dangers that come along with choosing this path PR researchers shows in the last decades. Um, so we'll take two trends for my paper and outline them in my presentation. Um, the first is the differentiation to self sending subfields. And the second thing is um, post-disciplinarity, a, a term I adopted from um, Menand in 2001. Um, well, there's been a lot of talk about paradigms in the discipline. Um, but I think that what we experience at the moment is profoundly different from the talk um, of, of paradigms. But I think that, in fact, it's um, the emergence of self-sending subfields. Um, and I think that the former discipline of PR is actually in the process of breaking apart into self-standing subfields with a rather close set of skillers um, and distinguishable research foci. So I kind of clustered all the hodgepodge of your research you've seen before. And um, I think that, in fact, three fields or subfields are emerging, um, which are different from the former PR discipline. Um, the first on APR, which is, um, it encompasses what Edwards and Hodges recently named the radical social cultural turn within the field. So scholars acting in this field focus on cultural and social theory and critical approaches. They look at the impact of PR on society and the role PR plays within society. Um, PR is discussed as a social phenomenon and um, methodology is mostly hermeneutic and um, with a clear orientation towards the humanities. Um, the second field, strategic communication, or also named communication management, um, the orientation within this field is clearly towards business economics and, and uh, management theory, and the focus is on the management of corporate communication processes. Um, it stands in this behavioral rationalistic tradition, um, and it tries to align Thomas Johns of PR research with management thinking and management thought. Um, the third field, and I'm corporate communications, but I don't want it to be confused with um, the research done by Christians and Ocon Ellison and related skills, but um, I just pick this term, um, and I, what I mean with it is that in, within this field, um, much of traditional PR research is continued. So the focus is on tactical practical skills. Um, it's on the proof on the communication messages and channels and um, it's very application oriented and um, books within this field are written for uh, PR practitioners. Um, so I think what's going to happen is that this former core of PR is going to shrink, and that these three fields are the progressive fields within the field and they might in the future emerge as self-standing subfields or even self-standing disciplines. So when I come to the second trend, um, the merits and dangers of post-disciplinarity. Um, the term post-disciplinarity is not clearly defined, but it certainly means something different than interdisciplinarity. A um, man used it in a very received article called The Marketplace of Ideas, and um, he said that it mostly means a determined eclecticism um, of methods and subject matter. Um, 
it means that in the end, these boundaries um, are no longer meaningful. There's no ruling paradigm, and there are no methodological restrictions. And the problem is that um, it often means that all scholars can more or less go, just go off and do their own thing. Um, again, there are positive and negative sides to this. Um, and I, I'm sure I don't know, I, I want to talk about the merits very briefly. Um, so it sure is a sign of professional and academic maturation. Um, what we experience in PR research at the moment, all social sciences and humanities have gone through. Um, Interdisciplinarity shown which is our discipline, and PR has certainly been a discipline that grows large by borrowing concepts from other disciplines and profits a huge amount on this knowledge transfer. Um, it also shows a high level of specialization and, well, the dangers. Most of them are um, self explanation so I don't want to go into detail, but the last point might not be so clear to you. And, um, I want to focus on that. So redundancy and expendability. Um, we've seen in a couple of other fields like marketing that the deeper field of philosophy is embedded within an organization, the more likely it is that this role is going to diminish and um, resolves in, into every function or might be overtaken by functions already in existence like strategic management. Um, in 1991, um, my camera, a famous marketing scholar, proclaimed that marketing is everything and that marketing is not a function but a way of doing business. And most of his contemporaries had heralded marketing's tri triumph. The consequences have ever been that, paradoxically, the deeper marketing was embedded within the organization and becomes the defining theme for shaping competitive strategies. The more likely it was that marketing as a distinct function was diminished. Um, and Glazer at the same time concluded that if the changing information environment succeeds in transforming business activity along the lines suggested here, marketing as a philosophy would appear to have triumphed even as its activities have become too important to be left to the marketing function. Um, which, for instance, also David Paglet of Hugh Paglet stressed. Um, so although this assessment might be somewhat ex Sexuated, and obviously it didn't quite happen this way. Um, I think it would be well to bear that in mind, and with the constant broadening of PR's spheres of influence within organization, and the constant broadening um, of the PR concept beyond its initial distributed boundaries, the actual core of what constitutes a discipline as a corporate function, but it also as an academic discipline, um, becomes more and more obscure. And, well, I, don't, I really think that the tasks and roles associated with the PR functions are going to become increasingly important, um, both in academia as in business practice. But the question I really want to pose today is whether it will be the PR discipline um, that's going to lead these discussions and will, uh, whether it will be the PR department that's going to lead those functions within organizations. Um, so, what are our challenges at the moment? Um, yeah. I think for, in academia, um, it's important to really focus on formulating a consistent body of common knowledge was it clearly distinguishable from other fields and provides a unique, valuable contribution. So what's our difference from marketing? What's the difference from organizational communication? What's the difference from all those humanities and social theory? Well, borrowing concept at the moment from what we do, what do we at the discipline have to offer in return to those borrowing. And the same is true for business practice. So what can companies expect from us? What can students expect from our discipline? Why do they have to decide to um, hire a PR professional or follow a PR career instead of other paths? What's unique about us? Um, well, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.